Our journey began in Annapolis, Maryland, when we bought our turtle in April of 2021. And when she was ready, we sailed her all the way up to Rhode Island. And after exploring Rhode Island for a while, we turned around and sailed her all the way back down to Annapolis. And then after the Annapolis boat show, set our sights south and headed to Florida. Once we got to Lake Worth, Florida, we got our turtle and ourselves ready to jump overseas to the Bahamas. Well, I don't think that it is very visible to the camera, but we can't leave because there's fog all around us. Um, we really wanted to get into the Bahamas before uh, sunrise, I mean sunset, but it's okay. We might be pushing it a little bit by leaving this late. Um, yeah, I don't think that the camera quite catches. But yeah, the camera has struggling this much to focus. Fog does that a lot. So we can't see anything front. Actually, you can, the visibility is about what you see there, which is nothing. So we are just gonna wait till the sun rises and then head out. Before we go to the Bahamas, one thing we have noticed is that our speed sensor doesn't work on our uh, chart plotter. And the probable cause of that is that the chart, the uh, speed wheel underneath the boat has gotten clogged up over time because we haven't pulled it out and cleaned it since we splashed her in July. <laughs> so uh, that's what we need to do now. The reason we haven't done that is that it involves taking out the speed sensor, which basically means you have a hole in the boat for a moment and then replugging the hole and we just haven't been ready to do that. So today is the day that we're going to do that. I mean, and today, I mean, right now. So let's do it. You hear that hiss? Is the bilge pump on? Yes. So this here is our, uh, um, basically our speedometer, and this wheel is supposed to turn in the water. Uh, I can barely move it because there's so much stuff on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this into some, uh, oh, you can see stuff crawling on there. Uh, so you can, we're going to put this in some vinegar, uh, clean off all the gunk that's on top of it, and then we have to put it back in. Okay, so the speed wheel is now clean. So you can see that as it, uh, as I put a little bit of pressure on it, it now spins. So this is what gets spun by the water moving underneath our hull. And that's how it measures how fast we're moving through the water. So I've cleaned this out as best as I could. So what we're gonna do now is take that out, get the splashy thing again, and then put this back in. All right, here we go. to get splashed in the face. Okay, that wasn't as bad. I think I might be getting the hang of that. Oh no, I gotta face this forward. Okay. Let's try some forward. So now we just need to tighten this. And there we're done. There we go. We should have speed through the water now. I can actually go upstairs and take a look at the um, current. And we should have some because it is pretty currenty here. Currenty, I guess is a word. Um, so clean a little bit of this up. And then we'll go make sure that our new, our existing speed sensor works as expected. The sun is officially up in half an hour, but 
can see a little bit better. And by see a little bit better, I mean mostly just see the fog a little bit better. Oh, just want to go to the Bahamas, guys. And a few hours later, the fog let up just enough for us to be able to see our way through the channels and through the anchorages and headed to get fuel first and then out into the ocean. All right, we're coming. Babe, Spana, we are going to the Bahamas. We have full diesel, full gasoline, full water, no trash on the boat, fully stocked freezer, and just our hopes and dreams, just, just right in here, ready to go. Right where? In here, not, not down here. I mean, we're all gonna eat too, but you know. Um, but yeah, we are exiting the inlet right now and going to go for our first international trip on the boat. It's been a long, hard season. I'm feeling weary to my bones. I guess that's my reason. I packed my bags and now I'm gone. What'd you just say? Land ho! We are nine miles out from the Bahamas. We can see some tall buildings in the distance. And we should be there just as the sun hits the horizon. And uh, our first international crossing is almost over. It was uh, very easy to do. So uh, picked a very low wind day. We've got the sail up for some stability. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, find an anchorage for tonight and have a celebratory dinner. is almost gone completely. Our anchorage is about 10 minutes away and we're here. We got our little headsets on and we're gonna anchor for the first time in the Bahamas in the dark because yeah I the fog I tell you couldn't help it but very excited and we're gonna have a big celebratory dinner and just relax and enjoy our first night in the Bahamas. All right, we are all checked into the Bahamas and it was a rather simple process. Uh, we did the click to clear stuff beforehand, which definitely needed to do, but there were also some forms we needed to fill out in person, um, but we're all done. It took all of like 10 minutes and we're actually gonna head right back out. Uh, we're not gonna stay in West End. We're going to head to Mangrove Key, which should be um, the first time that we are um, anchored up by a bank, which should be exciting. And off we go. And first time we're transiting a, a bank too. So, you know, the, the water is going to be much, hopefully calmer, but also much closer to the boat <laughs> than we're used to. So uh, definitely going to be exciting and we're very much looking forward to it. We are just passing the last of the shoals, which is terrifying because the depth went down as low as seven feet and we are five five, but it went well, it went beautifully. We have to kind of get used to moving with the tides in Bahamas, and I think this was a great introduction. We're actually going to get off uh, the path to Mangrove Key and just drop the hook in the middle of nowhere um, just to get some lunch with our friends who are buddy boating with us. They're actually going to be with us for the next 10 days or so, so it's going to be great exploring Bahamas with people who've done it before um, who are going to help us discover all of these things like stopping in the middle of nowhere, dropping anchor, and having some lunch and jumping in the water. Um, instead of being like, we have a destination to get to and we should get to that destination before we jump into the water, so. And it'll be our first time jumping into the water in the Bahamas, so. Eight days ago, we had three layers of clothing on, our foulies, sweaters, hats, even gloves. And right now I am driving after having jumped in the water, air drying, 
onto mangrove key. Eight days. That's that's insane. <laughs> that was incredible. Um, we didn't get to see anything fun, but still, we jumped off our boat. We swam around it. It was amazing. And now 20, 20 nautical miles um, that way, 61 degrees. We are going to hit up Mangrove Key. Key. Mangrove Key. And we'll see what that's like. The ripples that you see are from our buddy boat that is in front of us right there. But if you look past the wake that they're causing, it's hard to see where the ocean ends and the sky begins. It's barely any clouds and absolutely no movement in the water and it it is freaky it is a little trippy i'll tell you very very cool also very cool that you can see to the bottom of the water and you can see seaweed and rocks and everything that we're passing by and it's about 11 feet of depth here so it's pretty amazing Dave got it's all, all here and all up his back, all up his front and his legs. Oh, those no see got you, baby. They got me bad. They got me real bad. It's actually really itchy, too. Oh, man. I'm so itchy right now. One of them bit my finger right here while I was tapping on my phone. Like, it just was like, then it ran away. And I didn't I didn't get it. <laughs> it was a rough night. Alright, we're at Mangrove Key. It is beautiful and there was a beautiful sunset. Um, but we ran back inside because there's no seams again and just can't handle another night of that. Um, so we got smarter. But our friends are coming over for dinner, so we are making some uh, lemon chicken curry and some green beans with coconut flakes and some potato curry. And some rice, of course, some basmati rice. And our friends are bringing over some yummy fresh made cookies for dessert. And it is going to be a beautiful night indoors. Uh, today's swimming was awesome. Uh, we got here around 4... 45 or so so we could have swam but we wanted to make some food so maybe early in the morning we'll get some swimming in when the noceums are gone and our cockpit is not held hostage to them and then we're off to another key just just so funny how traveling doesn't feel as stressful because we're just going from one beautiful stop to another and it's one extremely unknown territory to another so today was a fantastic day and we look forward to the next next jump next little jump tomorrow <laughs> <laughs>